This video is going to cover the topic of algebraic variables. Be sure to put the date and topic at the top of your page. Our essential question will be, how do we translate mathematical ideas into algebraic expressions? We are going to start with a few definitions so that we can be sure we are all talking about the same thing when we're talking in class. Let's start with algebra. Algebra is the part of math that uses letters and symbols to represent numbers. The letters that we use to represent the numbers change based on the situation. We call these letters variables. A variable changes its value based on the situation. I can remember the term variable because it changes or varies based on the problem. The letter I use can also change so that it best matches the situation. Let's say I have nine animals. Four are dogs and the rest are cats. I can show this with algebra and with variables. I know that 4 plus the number of cats gives me my total of 9 animals. In this case, the C is 5 because 4 plus 5 makes 9, but I used my C to represent cats because I did not know yet what the value was. If I've been talking about turtles, I probably would have used the letter T. Right? I would pick a letter that makes the most sense. Many times we also will see that we use the letter N as a variable because N can stand for number. We also often use the letter X. Right? X marks the spot. Because of this, when we want to multiply, we don't use the multiplication symbol X anymore. That would be very confusing. Um, we'll see what we can do instead in just a minute. There are two more things we want to define, however, before we get there. The next term is algebraic expression. An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that might have numbers, variables, or operators. An operator is something like add, subtract, multiply, or divide. An algebraic equation um, is similar to an algebraic expression, but it also, in addition to the other items, has an equal sign. Four plus C is an expression. Four plus C equals nine is an equation. Small difference there. We want to be able to use variables to create algebraic expressions that might tell us what operation is being performed or what is happening to a particular number. We've used symbols to represent numbers, so we're going to now take some of that information that we've done with our symbols and turn them into variables and into algebraic expressions. So if we have this symbol, and it's representing our number, we can also record this number as a variable. Let's use n for number. We might want to represent then something being added on to our number, right? So we could draw the picture out, and let's say we want to add 3 to our number. We could represent it with a picture, but as an algebraic expression, we could also just write that it's n plus 3. Let's do something else with our number now. So we're back to our original number. Let's use n for our variable. We want to show what it would look like if we tripled our number. Right? We don't know what our number is, but we want to express it maybe visually and algebraically what that would look like if we are tripling our number. So visually, that would probably mean that we would draw our number three times. Right? We could also write here that we have an n plus another n plus another n. 
Another way that you'll see us use this is to say that we have three n's, so we can multiply our n times three. Remember earlier I said that we can't use our x anymore. That would be confusing if we said we had three times n, right? That gets a little bit funny looking, so we don't do that, right? Instead, in algebra, we shorten things, and if we want three times n, we can just squish our three right next to our n, and that would represent the n three times. If you ever see a number in front of a letter, and there's no operation between them, that means they are being multiplied. And actually, the number in front of our variable, in front of our letter, has a special name as well. This is called a coefficient. Co, of course, means that you're with something, like cooperative, right? And so this means, or sorry, this is the word coefficient, and we'll talk more about that as we continue on in this unit. Let's try to translate some mathematical operations into algebraic expressions. We'll start again with a symbol that represents our number, and we'll use a variable as well. This time let's use x instead of n. So take a moment and think about what it would look like if we took x and we multiplied it by 4. I have my visual, and now I want to think about turning that into an algebraic expression. Go ahead and write in what you think it looks like. I wrote 4x. Did you write the same thing? Right. That would show me that my number is getting multiplied by 4. Now let's keep those 4x's, and this time, with our 4x's here, let's add 5. So here represents the number 5. I'm adding the quantity of 5 to my 4x's. What do you think that would look like in an algebraic expression? I'm going to go ahead and write what I think. I wrote 4x plus 5. All right, so I took my math idea of taking a number, I was able to multiply it by 4, and then I was able to add 5. I don't know what my number is right now, but right now I'm just practicing translating a math idea into an algebraic expression. We're going to practice this in class together, um, but this video is just giving you a little preview of how we translate math ideas into a, an algebraic expression. That was our essential question. Feel free to go through this again when you, if and you need to. Um, and we're going to be using this language, some of the vocabulary that we've seen in this video, together as a class.